If you're as excited as I am to start using the changes in React 19, unfortunately they're still not production ready, but fortunately they are now in beta, which gives us a nice preview into what to expect. There's a lot to unpack here, so what exactly is changing? Ignoring libraries like Tanstat Query, if you wanted to do a query before, you would have to manage everything about your state. So here we have a submit handler, which you can just assume fires off a request to our backend to save some data. To get this to work properly, you would have to make sure to set that state to loading or pending, and then then check and set any error. This might be fine the first couple times you do it, but after a few, it just becomes brain numbing work. With React 19, we'll now have access to a new use transition hook that takes care of all that loading state for us. Simply just pass it the async callback you want executed, and we can manage everything through these two values we get back, whether it's still loading and the starting of that transition. Another action hook to simplify things is the new use action state hook. With this hook, you can pass it a callback and that offers you the previous state and the form data at submission. This gives you access to the error, the submit action, and whether the form is still pending. Form actions are also new so we can just pass the form action we get from the hook directly as an action on the form. I'll definitely be checking this out since forms have always been a pain to work with in React so I can only hope things get simpler. Let's say you've been working with the form you set up above but obviously in bigger systems you'll end up working with a lot of custom components for buttons and inputs. What some of these will need is access to things like the pending state of the form. This can now be easily done with the use form status hook. So if you have a button as part of a form, you can easily disable it by grabbing the pending property returned from this hook. Sometimes updating a value can take a while, but to improve the user experience, we have use optimistic as a new hook. The logic behind this is that if we want to perform an async action, we can update the UI assuming that the action will actually be successful. So in this case, we have a form to update the name and by using the new hook, we can set the new name, which will immediately update the UI to the new value while still processing the update in the background. The nice thing about this is that the user gets instant feedback on the UI without loading states and we have the ability to roll things back if things fail. There's now a general purpose use API. I feel like this one can get confusing just because it can be used for so many different things, but you can use it by passing an async function to it, which will in turn suspend that call until the promise is resolved. A use case here is for example, if you need to fetch a list of comments, using the new use API for the fetch call in the comments component, we can then wrap that component in a suspense with the fallback being the loading state. This will use that fallback until the comments are received and ready to be shown. Another use case for use is loading a context. So we no longer have to use use context and since use is not a hook, we can also call it conditionally so we can conditionally load a different context based on what we need. Speaking of context, the provider is also simplified now. You no longer have to do context.provider, you can simply just use the context name. It's not some revolutionary change but definitely a very welcome cleanup. Forward ref is now gone with ref being added as a default prop just like the children prop is that automatically gets passed in. Having to always wrap things in forward ref was pretty annoying, so this cleanup is very much welcome, and I think everyone's gonna love this one. If you've already been using the latest version of Next.js, you'll already know about this one, but React 19 is introducing the concepts of server components and server actions for everyone to build with. There's plenty of videos out there explaining these concepts, so I won't go into them, but it's safe to say this is a very big and exciting change. If you have a chance to play around with these concepts, I definitely recommend it since it's a new way of thinking and approaching React. Once once you actually get the hang of it, you'll notice how, as a way of thinking, it just makes so much sense and it also results in a better user experience as well. In the past, if you wanted to add metadata to your components, things like title, links, or SEO stuff, you would need the help of a library like React Helmet. This would also get really tricky with things like server rendered React apps, but now everything will be handled natively in React 19. You'll be able to simply just add your title tag anywhere and React will take care of hoisting them up to the head section of that page. This is huge in my opinion as more things like this get supported natively and they just work. Another thing that they now support like this are style sheets. You can link style sheets in your code, which I know must have been a really tricky problem to solve for them just because of the way styles work. If let's say you have three style sheets and in all three you give the div tag a different border, the style that actually gets applied is the last style that was loaded in, ignoring the first two. So with having so many components in a React app, I'm very curious how they handled this to ensure a predictable behavior. There's also things like support for async script tags, third party 
script, support for preloading resources, better error reporting, and so much more. I actually encourage you to check out the docs in the description and give them a full read. Also, since this is a beta, don't be surprised if some of these things actually change slightly before making it to the stable version. Don't forget to subscribe and all of that. I have a special video planned for this Friday, so look out for that.